When you think of the art museums in Pittsburgh, you think of the Carnegie, the Warhol, and the Frick. But did you know that Pittsburgh has a museum that works exclusively with contemporary artists? Hello, this is Colby reporting for the 11 Week Show. This afternoon, we're down in Pittsburgh's North Shore at the Contemporary Art Museum known as the Mattress Factory. Located near the Mexican War Streets on the North Shore of Pittsburgh, the Mattress Factory has been the home of experimental and installation art for over 30 years. Education Programs Coordinator Shannon Burkheiser explains. It actually used to be a Stearns and Foster's mattress factory, and when they went around and interviewed the neighbors and talked a little bit about uh, the space, everybody kept referring to it as the mattress factory, so they decided to keep the name. Since 1977, the mattress factory has supported more than 400 artists through a world-renowned residency program. Each year, artists come to live at the museum and create new work. Artists get more one-on-one -on -one attention than they're used to, and then also the freedom of um, doing a lot of things that they wouldn't be able to do in a museum that would support that. Here, if you come up with an idea that you think is completely crazy, we'll try to figure out a way to make that happen. Obviously, you guys saw the car in the parking lot. Um, that was originally a 2D piece, and when they realized it was going to be an installation museum. We actually purchased that car, brought it here, and completely revamped it to do an installation piece. What we're known for is working with living artists, helping artists today do projects. So that's, that's the difference. We're not, we're not looking back into history, we're looking forward. The mattress factory is unique because the pieces in the permanent collection are integrated into the architecture of the museum itself. These installation works are now a permanent part of the site. Yuyori Kusama is a Japanese artist whose installation piece, Infinity Dots Mirrored, involves an obsession with repetition and patterns. Co-director Michael Olinick explains. Her work has to do with repetition and kind, of have, and kind of breaking the border of reality almost so that you're in a space and you're looking into this mirror that you're then reflected again and you're reflected again and you're reflected again and the images in that space are reflected into the distance so that there's this kind of false reality that's formed within that space. She actually had a series of chemical imbalances that um, caused her to hallucinate. She says that she would see um, patterns and she found that her art was sort of a way for her to deal with these issues in her life. A tour is not complete without examining the garden installation by Winifred Lutz. Uh, Winifred was combining architecture and the natural space. So it's the built world and the natural world coming together. She wanted to take into account the history that was being preserved underground. And so as she went through the process, she came back to us with a completely different vision and she wanted to do it sort of like an archeological dig. Throughout the museum, you were able to get up close and personal with the pieces on display. An exhibit called The Ship of Fools, created by Bill Woodrow, is a little different. He was an artist who made things out of found objects. They were in the process of turning it into a working gallery space, and um, they sent him the picture of this dilapidated kitchen and said, what do you want us to do with it? And he was like, don't do anything to it. Once a month, visitors are invited to create art that complements the current exhibitions. This hands-on experience is called Art Lab. Art Lab happens uh, the third Saturday of every month, and it's basically projects that are created that go along with um, our permanents and then um, a lot of the programming is in conjunction with the rotating shows. It's whoever wants to come and participate in it and, and we're trying to do more uh, communal projects and things that um, people can work on together and it's all ages. I mean we have you know little toddlers all the way up to um, seniors and it's actually a lot of fun. As the city of Pittsburgh evolves from a steel town to a center of technology, so does the mattress factory. We're, we're basically never 
sitting still. We're always looking ahead, always helping artists make new projects, and they're helping us see things through their eyes. This has been Colby, signing out from the Mattress Factory. Now back to the studio.